Don't remember, back in March, a college student claimed that Roethlisberger assaulted her in a Georgia bar. The charges were later dropped, and now for the first time, we are hearing from his accuser and videotapes made during police interviews with her the day after that incident. This newly released cell phone video shows Ben Roethlisberger the night of the alleged sexual assault buying shots for the group of young women he had just met. He and his 20-year-old accuser posed together, smiling. So we took pictures with him. Um, he seemed really, like, nice um, at first. But later that night, she and her friends ran into the Pittsburgh Steeler quarterback again at another club. According to her, this time, things took an ugly turn. One of his bodyguards came and, like, didn't grab my arm, but, like, like was like, hey, come here. Took me to this back, like, hallway. The woman, who admitted later she, she was drunk, says the six foot five inch 240 pound Roethlisberger came into the hallway exposing himself and then forced himself on her in this bathroom. He like followed me in and shut the door. Um, that's when he proceeded to have sex with me and the whole time I said, no, we really don't need to do this. This isn't okay. Like we shouldn't be doing this. Um, then he just like got up and left. She said she was afraid to fight back because she had noticed that Roethlisberger had what she called a short temper. I didn't want to fight him, but the whole time I was like, this isn't okay. No, we don't need to do this. He said it is okay. But criminal charges against Roethlisberger were dismissed after the woman refused to cooperate to avoid what her lawyer called a very intrusive personal experience. The victim in this case is critical. There would be no way to be able to prove this case without the victim's cooperation. The National Football League suspended Roethlisberger for six games. He rejoined the Steelers for preseason practice just last week. Last night, in one of his first one-on-one -on -one interviews since the rape case on WTAE in Pittsburgh, he apologized to his fans in very general language for his off-the-field behavior. I've wanted to apologize to them um, for so many things, for being immature, for being dumb, for being young, for not knowing any better, for getting caught up um, with everything that was thrown my way. And Roethlisberger is still facing another sexual assault charge and a civil suit by a Las Vegas woman. The Steelers quarterback had been hoping to have his six-game suspension reduced. That is now very unlikely with the release of the tapes that very graphically describe the Georgia woman's version of what happened in the bar that and night. why are these tapes released since prosecutors have declined to prosecute them? Well, Georgia is one of the few states where the evidence, even including the interviews, the videotape interviews, are released so the public can decide whether the uh, system worked and did the right thing. Very interesting, Ron. Claiborne, thanks so much.